Welcome, this is Lucida, and I am here to bring you a reading about the energy of this blessed new moon in Aquarius where we have a stellium of six planets in this sign on this new moon. Also, Venus is making a very positive aspect with Jupiter, so make a wish for 211 or February 11th. This could be a lucky love day for you and your beloved. Before we get started with the reading, I want to remind you that I am a twin flame, a light worker, a psychic, and I have a website, twinflamerx.com backslash consultations. You can order your very own email reading or see me in a live session if you happen to catch me online. So we're going to get started now. Don't forget to like if you like videos like this, share comment and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. In 2021, I plan to boost this channel with many pick a card readings on various topics and other tarot readings that are going to enhance your life and your soul journey. So as we get started, let's look at the center. The center of the spread is the Divine Masculine because the spread is all about what the Divine Masculine's perspectives are going to be. Okay, so as a result of the energy of this six planet stellium in Aquarius along with this new moon in Aquarius, we also have the Lunar New Year and in a few days, Valentine's Day. And I may be leaving something out because there's a lot going on astrologically, but the Divine Masculine is represented there in the center with the energy of the King of Cups. So they're ready to share their love with the right person or to give their love in a charitable way. But if we're doing a reading about their perspective on the Divine Feminine versus the Karmic, let's get into that and look at the first column labeled K on the left side of the screen. In the past, we saw that the Divine Masculine maybe saw the Karmic as someone that they wanted to give their cup of love to with that Nine of Cups. However, the Knight of Cups is very fickle. So if you look at the current energy, the Divine Masculine is viewing the Karmic Partner situation more as the Queen of Wands. So a fiery personality may be good or bad because in some ways, the Divine Masculine wants to be the center of attention, but also wants to co-create with a feminine energy. So if we look at the Divine Masculine um, outlook of the karmic partner or situation in the future, we do have a King of Swords. So this means that the Divine Masculine is learning about the nature of the karmic partner situation and realizing that it, though it may be tempting, it is something that doesn't always bring good into their life and something that they need to leave behind so that they can have a new start with this new moon and this new lunar year. So the king of swords is the ultimate in cutting out what doesn't serve them and being stern about it and that's what we see there. So basically the divine masculine will be inspired in the near future to completely cut out the karmic partner situation so that they can focus on themselves and other things. If you look at the divine masculine's outlook on the divine feminine, on the other hand, in the right hand column labeled DF, the top row shows the world. So the Divine Masculine in the past viewed the Divine Feminine counterpart as their world and the ultimate achievement for them to have met this person or encountered this person. Presently though, the Divine Masculine is viewing the situation with a lot of anxiety with the Nine of Swords energy. So they've been thinking about it a lot, having a lot of sleepless nights and realizing that they did not treat their Divine Feminine well. So how this is affecting them. Many of them may be having dreams about their Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine may be wanting to reach out. If you made a wish, it may come true this weekend or in the near future because what we see in the near future for the Divine Masculine's outlook on the Divine Feminine, they're viewing the situation as having to get into that magician mode, but they also see the Divine Feminine as someone that has their act together and can 
basically wield their spiritual powers. So the Divine Masculine is inspired by that and wants to become the magician of their own life. And in doing so, they were able or will be able to cut out that karmic partner situation, become the King of Swords, and then turn and tune into their magician energy so that they can make all their dreams come true because they know that when they unite with their Divine Feminine counterpart, they are going to have all the tools they need to create a beautiful life together and what you see there is a lot of confidence exuding from the magician card with that yellow energy so there's a lot of solar plexus energy so if your divine masculine has been afraid they're afraid no longer and they will be emerging into existence for you very shortly i hope this reading blessed you see you in the next one namaste